Patrick Hutzel from Intensive Care at Home, where we provide tailor-made solutions for long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies, where we also provide tailor-made solutions for BiPAP and CPAP dependent adults and children on non-invasive ventilation, as well as home TPN and otherwise medically complex patients. And we provide a genuine alternative to a long-term stay in intensive care. So today I wanna to talk about um, a client that is inquiring about our service and asking, you know, what's our checklist when we onboard clients to go home from intensive care. And of course, we have a checklist when we onboard clients uh, so they can go home from intensive care. And I'll quickly go through the checklist so that you have an idea how we approach it. Obviously, there's a list of equipment that we need to go through, especially when it comes to mechanical ventilation. There are usually two uh, ventilators needed. There are two suction uh, units needed, there are spare tracheostomies needed, assuming um, you know a, a client of ours is ventilated with a tracheostomy. If they are non-invasively ventilated like BiPAP or CPAP, they don't need spare tracheostomy equipment but they still need two ventilators. They also often need a suction machine, definitely clients with a tracheostomy and ventilation need a suction machine. Most clients with BiPAP and CPAP that are under our care need, BiPAP, uh, need suction machines as well. Obviously, they need resuscitation bags. If they're having a tracheostomy, they need two different sizes. If they are, for example, having a size eight tracheostomy, they need also a size seven tracheostomy as backup. They need a resuscitation bag with a peep valve and a resuscitation mask. Um, they need oxygen cylinders or an oxygen concentrator, oxygen tubing, nebulizer set, humidifiers, um, if they're having a PEC tube or a nasogastric tube, they need a feeding pump, enteral feeding, giving sets. They need dressings for the tracheostomy, they need dressings for the PEC tube, um, gloves, of course, uh, sometimes sterile gloves, especially when it comes to tracheostomy dressing changes, um, goggles for the staff, you know, normal saline ampules, uh, chlorhexidine. Um, as well as a tablet crusher most of the time uh, with a bladder syringe as well a urine bag if clients have a, um, a suprapubic catheter or sometimes even an indwelling catheter you know and the list goes on such as stethoscope blood pressure cuff a monitor of course to monitor heart rate and oxygen saturation uh, often a special care bed a hoist lifting machine is needed uh, ideally a ceiling hose, especially when it comes to long-term patients, um, tracheal dilator and so forth. Now, also comes down to that a 24-hour nursing rosa with intensive care nurses is in place, um, a care and activity plan, clinical observation charts, you know, ventilation charts, standard shift check charts, you know, and all of our clinical documentation needs to be in place as well before you can safely or before we can safely take a patient home from intensive care but it's absolutely do doable we have done it many times and if you are in a situation where your loved one is stuck in an intensive care bed long term with ventilation or tracheostomy or any of any of the other situations that i've just mentioned on if they're on bipap or cpap and they can't leave intensive care or sometimes patients are stuck on a respiratory ward or floor as well and they can't leave they are or sometimes patients are stuck on a hospital floor with a tracheostomy and they can't go home because um, no one in the community can look after them then you should contact us as well we are operating in all major capital cities in australia and we are ndis uh, accredited as well as ISO 9001 2015, we are accredited for intensive care at home. Um, and I believe as of 2023, we are the only organization in Australia that has the third party accreditation for intensive care at home. So we're really specialized on mechanical ventilation, tracheostomy care at home, um, and also home TPN, for example, we can manage central lines, peak lines, Hickman's lines at home, for TPN or for IV fluids, including IV antibiotics. So that's it for today. Um, if you have a loved one in intensive care or on the, in the hospital that can't go home because of lack of specialist care in the community, whether that's ventilation, tracheostomy, TPN, 
anything that requires an intensive care nurse at home in the community please contact us at intensivecareathome.com call us on one of the numbers on the top of our website or simply email us to info at intensivecareathome.com that is again info at intensivecareathome.com also have a look at our membership for families in intensive care at intensivecaresupport.org there we have built a membership area for families in intensive care and where you have access to me and my team and we answer all questions intensive care and intensive care at home related also if you need a medical record review or a nursing assessment we can help you with that as well especially with the ndis we're providing nursing assessments and review medical records for intensive care patients as well please contact us as well we also can review medical records in real time while your loved one is in intensive care uh, or we can review them after intensive care as well thanks for watching this video subscribe to my youtube channel for regular updates for families in intensive care and intensive care at home click the like button share the video with your friends and families click the notification bell and comment below your questions and insights or what you want to see next what questions you have Thanks for watching. This is Patrick Hutzel from intensivecareathome.com and I'll talk to you in a few days.